I'm at 131 Cathedral Place, Santa Fe, New Mexico, and this is the Cathedral Basilica of St. Francis of Assisi. And this has a really strange history. It's been rebuilt several times. This building was dedicated in 1887. The spires were never completed on the structure due to lack of funds. The stained glass windows in the lower bay of this building are from France and depict the 12 apostles. The original structure was built in 1610 and then replaced in 1630 by a larger one, which was destroyed by the Pueblo Indian Revolt of 1680. That one was rebuilt in 1714 and then in 18 69 they started construction on this structure here which was finished in 1887 and the way they built it they built this structure literally on top and around the structure that was here before and then once the walls and roof were finished to this structure they took the old structure from inside of it apart and removed it through the front door so we're going to take a walk around and supposedly there is a prayer chapel that is the only actual original building here. Let's we'll see if we can't find it. This is their labyrinth here. It's nice. Beautiful building. Guys, this is gorgeous. The stained glass windows. Oh my. I don't know if you guys can read it, it's kind of dark. Praise the Lord, my soul, my Lord, my God, how great you are. Bendito si Dios. Okay. The stained glass, isn't that amazing? Oh, wow. Oil of the Catechism, Sacred Chism, Oil of the Sick, Baptismal Candles, wow. Okay, right over there is the actual oldest part, the existing part of the church, that prayer chapel area over there. And it's all closed off to the public. You can see the crucifixion of Jesus there. This is, you can see the old wood. But that's the oldest part. And it's all screened off. They got a little screen down at the bottom. You really can't see. I guess no doors to it. I'm at 207 Old Santa Fe Trail in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and this is the Loreto Chapel. Construction of the chapel commenced in 1873. An attraction of note is the miraculous staircase. It is a historic mystery as the carpenter is unknown and it was constructed with wooden pegs. The staircase has two complete 360 degree turns with no center pole or structural support. The entire weight of the staircase rests on the bottom stair. But we're going to go inside and take a look at it. This is a model of the miraculous staircase. As you can see, there's no real supports holding it. 
inside and take a look. This is the staircase. Another unique feature of this staircase is that the underside of the stairs were actually originally open but was filled in with horsehair and lime mixture and painted to look like wood. So what looks like wood on the bottom side is actually horsehair and lime. And it's beautiful, isn't it? Professional booth here. Look at the detail on the wood pegs on the stairs. And the artist or the crafter of this staircase is unknown. He just disappeared after finishing it. I'm at 105 West Palace Avenue, Santa Fe, New Mexico. This is the Palace of the Governors. Built in 1610, the Palace of the Governors is an adobe structure located on Palace Avenue on the Plaza Avenue. It can serve as the seat of the government while the territor territory was under the control of Spain, Mexico, and the United States. Lou Wallace wrote the final parts of his book, Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, in, in this building. I'm not sure if it's still open or not, but we've got vendors in front of it. We'll walk by and show some of the vendors' goods, and if it is open, let's, we'll go inside and take a look around. We've got vendors all along this walkway selling jewelry and other items. We're at 63 Lincoln Avenue in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and this is the Santa Fe Plaza. This sits directly in the center of Santa Fe. The entire town surrounds, or city surrounds, this plaza. The very first survey that was done on this plaza happened in 1608, and when they did the survey, there was actually an abandoned pueblo here. So it dates back to even before that time. But this is the center meeting point of Santa Fe where residents come to gather and it is known as the heart of Santa Fe and over 400 years after the first survey was done it is still the meeting place for residents here in town. Looks like they're getting ready to have an outdoor concert here today. Well folks this is at 227 Don Gasper Avenue in Santa Fe. And it's cool looking and it's old looking. And they got a bunch of collecting old shops. And it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna walk over and take a look. And I like the Mustang, y'all. I like that Mustang, that's pretty. <laughs> Here's the village, let's go ahead. Oh, uh, cool. Now that's awesome. Look at that. Look at, they got some cool shops in here, guys. That's why it's called a village. Look at this. Ooh, cool, cool, cool. That's neat. Salon. Wow, this, I wonder if it goes all the way around. Here. This is cool though. There you go. It goes back here too. 
That's neat. Beware of attack bear. Oh, what is this? Silversmith. Pretty neat, you guys. That's cool. I gotta get Greg to walk through here. I'm gonna go down here and go get Greg so he can walk through here. We have the dog, so I don't know. That's pretty neat. Get some pictures. So, so. And that looks like a mission there inside this village. How cool. This is so cute. How neat, you guys. Nice and cool in here, too. It'd be cool to have a little shop in here. Oh, yeah, Metalworks. Oh, Nicho. Hee. Oh, how neat. This is neat. Okay. All right, I'll keep going. This is so neat, little shops. Folks, we're right here next to the plaza in Santa Fe. And right here in front of me is the La Fonda. It is a hotel that is over 400 years old. And it is very elegant inside from what I understand. Still looks like it's in really good shape. All right, folks, this is the La Fonda on the Plaza Hotel here right near the Santa Fe Plaza. This building is over 400 years old. Let's see if we can't walk through it and take a look around. They got a nice bar here. Noisy in here. It looks like the majority of the hotel is on the second floor. And they've got a lot of shops, restaurants, bars on the first floor. RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fix your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on the air